Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at a team around Hypno and here actually Shadow Hypno. And I found this team on PvP Poke. I think it's a team that Vergiverk made like, I don't know, five seasons ago. So I, I, if I don't share, forget about that, I leave a link to him in the description. But I found it on the PvP Poke best teams site. Here we actually have a Blizzard Night Hits against us, which I thought like, oh, what the hell. But yeah. In general, I always, if I use a team that I have from somewhere else, I usually say that as well. Like for me, there is literally no reason to not say that. So if you see me not saying, okay, this team is from this or this person, then it's my own team. And yeah, it's for that, for this year, I think it's a very works. I'm not 100% sure. I, I know that he had a team. I think he didn't like Licky Tang though as a say swap. So. I like Lickitung as a size OP. I think he always used like Munchlegs and in general Lickitung is something that a lot of people don't have. So Munchlegs, Snorlax, everything that basically has Lick as a normal type might be good for you. And also maybe Teddy Urza because it's also a normal type with a Lick. Actually, we don't want to build a Teddy Urza XL. This thing gets to 1500 CP as a Lick and cross chop. I don't know what the last move is, but doesn't really matter. Maybe return if you use a purified one. Would be hilarious to use, but yeah, I don't have the XL Kenny anyway. Maybe we get an event for that. But here, we have the Licky Tongue. The Licky Tongue is a very cool say swap. What you actually, I don't know why, but I got so many Azumarill say swapped into my Licky Tongue and was like, what are you doing with your life? I have power, like, I'm in a better matchup than you. And yeah, here we can go for a power. By the way, if I if, if I sound like a bit weird, like I have some problems with my lungs right now. I am asthmatic and yeah, that's sometimes why I have to breathe a bit heavier than others. So sorry for that if you can hear that. Just a saying right now. Now we have our Venus against us and Lidra, very good for us. We got uh, like perfect hard counter for us. I expect him to have like something like maybe Maybe, 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 um, what's it called? Sableye in the back. It's usually a team that a lot of people run with Sableye as a say swap usually, but I think because Sableye is the harder counter, he doesn't want to go into that. We can go for a foul play here in this foul play. Gonna be able to get a shield there. I think it would have KO'd because it was double boosted already and we put him already really low. We get the move in, we can shield here and let's see what he has in the back. It's gonna be the Sableye. What a surprise here. People are so creative with their teams. It's crazy. But yeah, we have a good matchup here. We don't even have to shield anything right at this point. I actually just want to get his last shield here, I think, and then I'm fine. Like, I'm not even gonna shield the next move here. I'm just gonna let it go. I think there was no way that it could have been returned though, so I think I was fine either way. But here we can farm this thing down. We go for the Ice Punch here and we're gonna win this game easily. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this game. Next up, we're gonna have Hypno against Azumarill. Azumarill, yeah, of course, but it's actually pretty decent for us and he goes into the Rapion. And I always underestimate this thing, this thing is amazing. You see how much the Sludge Bomb does, and Sludge Bomb usually takes six moves. But I think this time, yeah, yeah I thought he got it left a five here. So I thought it's, already, or it's either a Crunch or the Awkward Tail and it wasn't, and I was like, eh, shit. So, most likely you're gonna lose this match. But anyway, I went, I think, 11 and 3 with this team. I started this team, I think, one game into one set because I played a different team that was around Shadow Shiftry. Didn't work. Like, Shadow Shiftry has literally no shot in the current meta. I, th I still think I'm gonna try to use it in the Halloween Cup, but in this meta, like, don't, don't run Shadow Shiftry, please. It's, it's just not worth it. So, here we're gonna have the first set against us, which is kind of problematic. I'm just gonna let it go. He goes for Shadow Ball, which is nice. So we're gonna be able to lick him down. Here's the Azumarill. I think we're okay. We have to go for one power and one body slam, I think. So yeah, let's see. We can go for... He goes for the Ice Beam, of course, an Ice Bait. I have to go for the uh, body slam now at this point, because otherwise he gets to move, but it was enough, so good game there. Licky Tang is OP. And we have a Stun Fisk against us, something that I don't really like to see, especially as we don't have Fire Punch or Fox Blast. But we can go into the Licky Tongue, we should be okay here. And here we're gonna have the Venusaur against us, which also doesn't really want to take the body stamps, which is pretty decent. Sadly, we don't get. Do I shield here? I actually thought of shielding that, to be honest, because maybe I could have just realigned my Pokemon correctly, but I thought now he most likely has the Sable Eye in the back because it's like the team we had before already. He stays in here, so it's kinda let me think that it's Sable Eye. 
He goes for the Earthquake. It's Pelipper, and now it looks really, really bad for us, because Pelipper is strong against the uh, Scrafty here, but at least we can get a shield there. And he has to throw any anyway, and I think he throws the Weather Ball here, which is not the right play. And he actually throws another one, I have to let this go, and I hope that uh, my Hypno can somehow win this game. We farmed him down there, we can go for some Ice Punches here, and this should do a lot of damage still, and we get to another Ice Punch, I don't think it KOs, but I think we can farm him down. We need one more Confusion now, and it does not matter what he goes for, if it's Rock Slide or Earthquake, because we had the shield there, and he would not be able to get to another move, because you always need like two quick moves for the next move, you cannot store on Rock Slide and Earthquake at the same time. And here we have the Stunfest against us again. In general, not the matchup that you really like to see. Here we have the Mandibus. Mandibus is very, very thick and really, really bad for this team in general. Mandibus is kind of a core breaker, to be honest. You don't really want to face it in any position here, so we can go for some nice body slams. And I think we're actually, we're actually not in the worst spot here because I can survive that and we can also survive this one still. We can go for some body stamps though. And I think he has to swap out after this, doesn't he? Yeah, he swaps out into G Fisk, I swap out into my Scrafty. Now it depends what he has in the back. He goes to the Earthquake there, I can go for the Power Punch, let me see how much this is gonna do. Can we farm him down in time? I think if I went for the Power Punch immediately, I would have been able to farm him down, and I think this would have won me the game, as he has a Skarmory in the back, and I would be able to get some more damage on that thing. But yeah, now we have to go into the Hypno 100%. And I have to try to farm, yeah, I tried to ca catch there, but he threw basically in my animation, so there was no chance. It's always really awkward to have a 4 turn move against a 3 turn move. 3 turn move is like always in a better spot there. And sadly, we cannot farm down perfectly there. He goes for the Brave Bird, he swaps out. I have 1 HP in Dream, and I already put him like also to 1 HP, but because he swapped out in time, like this is sadly a loss. Here we have Azumarill against us now, again those super meta teams from my opponents and I don't know why you swapped the Azumarill in there, like he had a way better matchup with the g in the lead, but hey, I don't really mind that. And here he goes, yeah here he can go just for the power whip, the power whip, we're gonna do like always half to Azumarill, which is nice. He goes for the Hydro Pump, I don't really care, I can go for the Body Slam, I can always outspam him. As Body Slam only needs 35 energy and regenerate energy close to the same amount that he does. And here he has the G Fisk and he has to throw a move here, which is beautiful because now he's a bit of energy dry. We can go into this craft, he goes into Tropius. And at this point, this is why we have the Ice Punch here. And Ice Punch is going to be able to KO this thing. We have to shield once though against it because he's going to shield here against us as well. But I don't know why we did this. I think his only play was to no shield there, but I don't know. Here we can go for the Ice Punch, and this Ice Punch is going to KO, of course, because double is super effective. And we can swap out here, we have a move start even, we're just going to go for one foul play and we should be in a good spot. For Earthquake you need like a lot more afterwards anyway, and yeah, we should we should win this game. Even if he KOs me here, which he doesn't, so good game there to my opponent. And here we're going to have the... Umbreon. Umbreon is really bad for me as the lead. Like in general, Dark type leads are not good for this team. You have a Psychic type in the lead, and you have a Lick user in the back, but you usually don't really see a lot of them. And here it goes into the Medicham. Medicham's matchup against me against in general Licky Tongue isn't the best to be honest. You can just go for some body slams, and you should be fine. And yeah, he can KO us there, but usually even in the if you have the neutral matchup. We both have the same amount of health, I think you even win on a zero shield sometimes, depending on how the Medicham is playing against you. And here we have Azumarill against us, and this is basically game over, this was a hard counter team. And yeah, there was nothing really we can do here. Yeah, we, we try still to go for some power punches, and we can actually get a pretty low at the end, but it does not really matter. So yeah. Scrafty in the two shades against Azumarill is actually way lower, than, uh, like way closer than you might expect. And ma maybe if I went uh, straight for the power punch all the time, I don't know. I have to go for the foul play here and hope that he no shields, but he doesn't, so now I tried to catch what didn't work, so yeah. Good game there. 
nothing really I can do yet. I just surrounded at this point. There was literally no reason for me to play this game anymore and we can swap out here. Here's the interesting thing which I like so much about the Lickitung is the matchup against Skarmory. Skarmory is not as bad as you might think it is. As this is mm, like the lick damage, like the lick damage just hurts so much, the body slam damage still is not that bad to be honest. And if I just shield here, I think I will be able to win switch advantage here. Or at least get both shields, I add both there I think. I can go for another move here yeah. and you see how good the matchup is actually for the Licky Dung and the two shields. Sadly he survived with 1 HP so I have to shield again but now we can line our Pokemon perfectly. You cannot farm me down with the G-Fist, like no way you're gonna do that before I get to the power whoop. We throw us in time. It's a rock slide, we can go into our Scrafty now and we have a perfect alignment now. No depends what he has on the back. Which gonna be? We're gonna see. We can go for the foul play. It's, oh, he actually gets another move here, which is kind of scary. It's gonna be the Jellicent, and this is also really scary. Can we survive with Shadow Ball from a Jellicent? We actually can, and we wouldn't. We hit survive that with 1 HP in the dream. We can go for the Thunder Bond, which puts him into range of a foul play. The foul play gonna be able to KO him. And we can counter on the G first, just barely in time there, and good game there to my opponent. Next up we have Jason on the lead, of course not the best, but what I usually try to do is like catch a move, which didn't work out here, but we can still actually get two shields against this thing if we want to. Because he went straight for the Shadow Ball, we can just go for two more confusions, which only allows him to get one extra quick move in. And now we can go for another move, and we get another shield here from him, which is pretty nice, and now we're in a shield advantage. He here goes into the Mailchimp, which is nice, let alone face it with my Scrafty. And I am going to be able to go for another body slam after this and should be able to KO this thing as well. I don't think this is fully XL, I think that's just a uh, hundo or something that powered up like 3 or 4 times. The damage I did, like I definitely had a break point with my lick damage there. And here we have a 9 tails and this is a bit more problematic though sadly. But we still can go into our uh, Hypno, I think I'm gonna shield this actually, yeah, I'm gonna shield this, I'm gonna try to farm up a bit extra, now I can go into my Scrafty, which can resist everything other than the Ice Beam, but we can farm all the way down. We have a boost out, we just need to get him lower, and what we're gonna do right now is just go for some foul play, he has to throw soon, we would have got to the, um, what's it called, to the Polar Punch as well, but he threw the move and he done a Sarana there, which he had no chance really. We have a Poitoad against us, we can go for some nice Thunder Punches against this thing. And we should be able to do some nice damage against him. But because we always get some more damage from his Water Balls than when I would go into my Licky Tang, I'm just gonna go into my Licky Tang. My whole team has a decent matchup against the um, Poitoad there, so we can just go here for some Body Stamps against the Neo Queen. We have two shields still left, and there's nothing really... We can lose here, I think, is there? Hmm, he's low already. I don't think he gets to the earth power here. Oh, wait, he did. And now it looks a bit worse. But he has an Umbreon, and this was like really, really nice because, yeah. Umbreon is like something that you always kind of want to face if you have a Scrafty, as Umbreon has nothing really against a Scrafty other than maybe Last Resort. And you're gonna see here, this thing doesn't even have Last Resort, it's psychic. And yeah, I just shield because I know I am. My Scrafty is my win con here, I'm just gonna farm down. I think he surrenders here soon. Because there's no play, but yeah, this team is still really, really good. I didn't expect it to be that good, to be honest. I just wanted to play something that I haven't played in ages, which is Hypno for me. I haven't played that for, I don't know, half a year or something. So, yeah. Power up there. Power whip everywhere. Here goes for some nice player of... We can go for some power-ups again. In general, like the amount of times where they swap in Azumarill against my Lickitung, I have no idea why. I have a literally no idea why. We can go for some body slams there again, and yeah, he swaps into the stable. I just gonna. St I actually wanted to stay in there. I a shield here. Very interesting. I go for the power up. I hope that I get a shield here. I guess. And now I'm gonna go into my Scrafty, try to catch the move. It worked out perfectly fine. Quad the foul play does nothing, I can farm down in time, I think it's only a foul play here at this point. So now we have a move start, we're gonna go for the move immediately, he goes into the Azumarill, which would die from the power punch, but he had some energy, so I want to throw immediately, and he has a Marek in the back. 
This is going to be still a bit close, but I think there's nothing really you can do. We actually bait him correctly there. And yeah, this is going to be it for this video. I really like would say that you should use this team. Like you can play something else in Liki Tang as well in this team, but it worked pretty, pretty well. And thanks all for watching and see you in the next video and have a great rest of your day.